Part 1 Directions In Part 1 of the test, you will be shown six photographs and hear four statements about each photograph. The statements will be marked A, B, C and D. All statements will be spoken only once and not written down. For each photograph, choose the statement that accurately describes what can be seen in the photograph. Look at a sample photograph. Listen to the four statements. A. The ship is very modern. B. Passengers are boarding the ship. C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. D. People are having a party on a boat. Statement C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. Is the most accurate description of what can be seen in the photograph. Therefore, you should mark your answer choice C. This part will now start with question 1. Select your answers as you listen. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. The woman is looking at the computer. B. The woman is typing on the computer. C. The woman is taking a phone call. D. The woman is talking on the cell phone. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. He is looking at the laptop computer. B. They are having a discussion in a meeting room. C. They are all looking in the same direction. D. She is writing in a notepad. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. He is selling the bread. B. The bread is in the oven. C. He is holding bread using a bread paddle. D. He is wearing safety gloves. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. She is walking her dog on the seashore. B. She is collecting seashells on the shore. C. The dog is walking behind the girl. D. She is swimming in the water. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. The man is wearing safety gloves. B. The man is using the remote control to move the pipe. C. There are many people in the factory. D. The man is moving the pipe with his hands. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. The lady is looking away from the man. B. The man is touching the bench with his left hand. C. They are both holding the flower. D. The man is sitting with his legs crossed. Part 2. Directions. In Part 2 of the test, you will listen to 25 questions, each followed by three potential responses. The responses will be marked A, B and C. All questions and responses will be spoken only once and not written down. For each question, choose the response that accurately answers it. This part will now start with question 7. Select your answers as you listen. Number 7. You've been to Japan before, haven't you? A. After 3.30 p.m. B. I prefer Japanese food. C. 
No, never. Number 8. Where's the light switch? A. We switch suppliers. B. On the back wall. C. It's too heavy. Number 9. Would you like to return this item? A. Yes, it doesn't fit. B. Medium size, I think. C. No, he left already. Number 10. How late did you work last night? A. Past midnight. B. Three times, I guess. C. Don't be late again. Number 11. Why isn't the heater on? A. A cold wind today. B. It broke this morning. C. Yes, it's on. Number 12. What's the name of the company? A. A new CEO has been named. B. Submit an application. C. It's at the top of the page. Number 13. Are you picking up the client today or tomorrow? A. She works in China. B. A taxi driver. C. This afternoon. Number 14. Who should I assign this task to? A. Someone in marketing. B. I'll finish it by Tuesday. C. Please sign here. Number 15. You are planning to attend the concert on Wednesday, aren't you? A. No, something urgent came up. B. He tends to speak indirectly. C. Yes, it was very good. Number 16. Isn't Mr. Moore married? A. It's after the wedding. B. No, it wasn't. C. Yes, yeah, since last year. Number 17. Can I help you carry that? A. That would be appreciated. B. The box is full of paper. C. I couldn't find an empty seat. Number 18. When is the payment due? A. You may use a credit card. B. Before March 3rd. C. Yes, I do. Number 19. Which pattern do you like best? A. Let's choose the best idea. B. I think the striped shirt is nice. C. The store closes soon. Number 20. Do you want to take the bus or drive to the mall? A. The price of gas. B. Just look at a map. C. I prefer public transportation. Number 21. How many new computers were purchased? A. One for each employee. B. It's an email attachment. C. For the business conference. Number 22. I can't find the file on that client. A. That's fine with me. 
B. Look in this file cabinet. C. Before the end of the day. Number 23. Why don't we rent bicycles? A. Because Jake wants to. B. Yes, just like the directions said. C. That sounds fun. Number 24. Don't you live in the same neighborhood as Jim? A. No, I don't leave until 6 p.m. B. Yes, very close, in fact. C. It's different from this new product. Number 25. Where's the nearest gas station? A. It's toxic gas. B. He is at the car show. C. Just around the corner. Number 26. Why is nobody at the park today? A. I forgot the picnic basket. B. It is expected to rain. C. No, he changed his mind. Number 27. Has your daughter decided on a wedding date? A. No, that sounds too luxurious. B. Yes, the last weekend in August. C. She likes the white dress. Number 28. Should I park on the street or in the garage? A. Wherever there is space. B. You left your keys on the counter. C. They started from a garage band. Number 29. We are going to open a second location next month. A. Your business is going well. B. I often visit my cousins. C. No, it was on the third floor. Number 30. Why don't you ask for a few days off from work? A. I guess I'll have to do that. B. Yes, I'll turn it on. C. He received a promotion. Number 31. Who's most qualified for this position? A. Complete the form online. B. Actually, I'll have to review their resumes. C. They filed an official complaint. Part 3. Directions. In Part 3 of the test, you will listen to 13 conversations. Every conversation will be followed by three questions about it. Each question will have four answer choices, marked A, B, C and D. Each conversation will be spoken only once and not written out. For each question, choose the answer choice that accurately answers it. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, are you Miss Joyce, right? I just started working here today, and I was told to shadow you. Is it okay if I follow you around and watch how you do things? Nice to meet you. Of course you can shadow me today. And if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I was just about to take inventory in the warehouse. Let's do it together. That sounds great. But before I do anything, I just need to change into my work uniform. I'll join you in the warehouse in ten minutes. Number 32. How do the speakers know each other? Number 33. What does the woman suggest that the man do? Number 34. 
Number 34. What does the man need to do first? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Tina. This is Michael Hall calling. I just left the office a minute ago and realized I forgot to email myself an important document. It's a spreadsheet that I need for my presentation in Tokyo tomorrow. Are you still at the office? Yes, I am. It's 6 p.m. now. I still have an hour left to leave work. So how can I help you? Oh, great. If you turn my computer on, the spreadsheet document will be right on the desktop. If you could just email it to me, I would be so grateful. No problem. Wait a moment. I'll look for the document and email it. Why don't you make sure that you receive it in about five minutes? Number 35. Why is the man calling? Number 36. When will the woman leave work? Number 37. What does the woman suggest the man do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Chris Holt calling on behalf of the World Science Fiction Convention. We reserved the conference center at your hotel for our event this weekend. I visited the space today and noticed that there were no tables and chairs set up. The seating will be ready in time for the event. Those items are currently needed for another convention in a different section of the hotel. By the way, exactly how many attendees are you expecting to come? We have 248 confirmed guests. Therefore, we will need around 50 tables with five chairs each. Please let me know once these preparations are done. Number 38. Where does the woman work? Number 39. Why are the tables and chairs currently unavailable? Number 40. What does the man clarify? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Ms. Morris. It's Marvin Gibson from New York Eats. I'm calling because I write a weekly column for the magazine and would like to profile your restaurant this week. Wow, I'm honored. We recently added some Mexican dishes to our menu. Why don't you come by tonight and try some? Afterwards, you can interview me and the chefs about the restaurant. That sounds great. However, I'd like to come during the day so that I can take some nice pictures. All right, then. How about this Friday? Number 41. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 42. What change does the woman mention about the restaurant? Number 43. What does the man suggest doing? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I bought a fishbowl and some goldfish here yesterday. However, the water filter doesn't seem to be working properly. Ah, yes. I remember you from yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that. Could you tell me more? Well, I turned it on, but it doesn't appear to be running. I'm worried the fish won't survive without the filter functioning. I brought it for you to take a look at. Hmm, you're right. It appears to be broken. I'm so sorry about that. I'll give you a new one immediately. Wait a moment, please. Number 44. Where is the conversation taking place? Number 45. What problem does the man mention?
Number 46. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. My guest today is Donna Fuller, a famous singer-songwriter currently touring the United States. Her newest album just came out this week. Thanks for joining us, Donna. First, could you describe your musical style for listeners who may be unfamiliar with you? Well, my style has changed a lot over the years. Originally, I wrote and performed jazz music, but this new album is in the rock genre. I think my fans will be a little surprised, but I hope they like it. What can your fans expect if they come to see you live on this new tour? There will be a lot more musicians on stage than before. So, the stage will be full of energy and excitement. Number 47. Who most likely is the man? Number 48. What kind of music does the woman currently play? Number 49. According to the woman, what will be different about her upcoming performance? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, can I please speak with Thomas Hyatt? It's regarding the construction at Franklin Studios. He's the fund manager, right? Yes. Can I ask who's calling? This is Sharon Jasmine, the studio director at Franklin Studios. We are upgrading our studios, but we're supposed to receive some funding today that didn't go through. The builders have stopped construction until I can guarantee payment. Okay, I'll put you through to Mr. Hyatt now. Hold, please. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Jasmine. Good morning, Mr. Hyatt. Are those funds coming through today? I really want to stay on target with our project, so we need to keep construction going. Definitely. I am actually at the bank now doing all the transfers, so the money should be in your account within half an hour. I'll send you a confirmation receipt via cell phone. Please message me back when you get it. Number 50. Who is Mr. Hyatt? Number 51. What problem does Mrs. Jasmine mention? Number 52. What does Mr. Hyatt ask Mrs. Jasmine to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Here is the restaurant space I told you about last week. I think it's perfect for a small cafe. There is also a patio area out the back. You can see it from here. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. I think this is a little small, but I like the location. It is small, but with the patio space, you could probably seat 20 people. I've looked at another location up the street that is about 10% cheaper than this, so it's a tough choice. I see. Well, we can negotiate on the price. I'll just have to talk to my manager first. That would be great. If you can match their rental cost, I would probably take this location because of the patio. Okay. Let me talk to my manager and get back to you. Number 53. What does the woman say about the restaurant space? Number 54. Why does the woman say, I've looked at another location up the street that is about 10% cheaper. Number 55. What does the man say about the price? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Matthew. Any news on our sales results for last month? I am just finishing the report now. Looks like our sales are booming in our Woodsdale stores, but the Collingwood stores aren't doing well. Usually it's the other way around. Hmm, 
That's interesting. Maybe we need to take a trip to Collingwood and talk to the management team about why their sales change so quickly. Yep, let's go this afternoon. Number 56. What are the speakers discussing? Number 57. What does the woman imply when she says, That's interesting. Number 58. What does the man suggest they do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Harry, Anne, what kind of tools did you say we need? Look over there in the hardware section. We need a drill and two hammers. We don't need anything else because I'm getting all the small equipment delivered to the office today. What about paint? We don't need paint. We already have it. Okay, but we do need some nails. I know you didn't order those. I saw the invoice. Yes, you're right. Let's get what we need here and then go. Number 59. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 60. What does the man mention about the delivery? Number 61. What does the man say he needs? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and map. Hi, Sally. How has your day been? Really great, Jim. I have been busy but productive. How was your meeting this morning? It went better than I expected. The interior design specialist just gave us some recommendations for our office layout. We don't need to purchase anything new, just rearrange a few things. Oh, really? What did he say? He suggested that we move the help desk and the sales desk so that they are on opposite sides of the entrance. That way, if we have people waiting in line, they won't be crowded. We will just slide the sales desk to where the waiting area is now. That is a good idea, and this way, when people come into the office, they can see all of our products displayed against the back wall. Exactly. And then after they purchase their items, they can just step out the door. Glad we are already on the same page. Well, I think we should start moving the sales desk right away, don't you? Number 62. What did the man recently do? Number 63. Why does the man want to move the sales desk? Number 64. Look at the graphic. Where will the sales desk be moved to? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and chart. Hi, Rosalie. Did you hear about the fire drills next week? Yeah. I can't believe they scheduled ours during a lunch break. They need to reschedule our lunch break or change the fire drill time to 1 to 2 p.m. They shouldn't expect us to skip lunch and practice the fire drills. I know. I don't think it is very fair. They should have had all the drills in the afternoon. The other departments actually get extra time off work and we lose our lunch break. I think we should go and speak to our supervisor. What do you think? I agree. Should we go now? Yes. Let me quickly send an email and I will come with you. Number 65. What did the man say about next week? Number 66. Look at the graphic. What department do the speakers work in? Number 67. What does the woman suggest they do?
Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and list. Mark's Models, this is Greg speaking. How can I help you today? Hi, Greg. I bought a SnapFit Mazda Mikado plastic model kit yesterday, and I'm just starting to put it together now, but some of the pieces are missing. Oh, that's not good. What exactly is missing? Well, it seems like all the parts are here, but I have nothing to put them together with. Ah, it must be the SnapFit tool. With our older model kits, that's a pretty common problem. We have a lot in the store. I'll express post one to you today, if that's okay. Oh, that's great. Thanks for your help. Number 68. Where does the man most likely work? Number 69. Look at the graphic. What part is the woman missing? Number 70. What does the man offer to do? Part 4. Directions. In Part 4 of the test, you will listen to 10 talks. Every talk will be followed by three questions about it. Each question will have four answer choices, marked A, B, C and D. Each talk will be spoken only once and not written out. For each question, choose the answer choice that accurately answers it. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Miss Jensen. It's Kate Douglas. I'm so grateful that you offered to babysit my son Michael this weekend. As you know, something urgent came up and I have to be away on business this weekend. An important merger will take place in April and I need to be in New York in order to lead a meeting between my company and NX Electronics. Oh, and also, please let me know how much you expect to be compensated for babysitting. Thanks again. Number 71. What did the listener offer to do? Number 72. What will happen in April? Number 73. What will the listener most likely inform the speaker about? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the staff, I regretfully announce that Flight 344 will be slightly delayed. The fueling process is taking longer than expected, but should be completed soon. Passengers who are hungry can receive complimentary snacks and fruit juices here at the counter. However, we will be boarding relatively shortly so we ask that passengers do not leave the boarding area. Thank you for your cooperation. Number 74. Where most likely is this announcement being made? Number 75. What can listeners receive at the counter? Number 76. What are listeners asked to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Hello everyone. Welcome to the guided tour of the Giant Dinosaurs exhibit. Today you will be able to see dinosaur skeletons that were excavated by Dr. Mark Simmons while on an expedition in South Africa. Dr. Simmons is one of the most respected scientists in the field and has discovered some of the oldest and most well-known fossils in the field. These fossils here were found in layers of sedimentary rock dated back over 65 million years ago. Because these fossils are delicate, I remind everyone that if you want to take pictures, please turn the flash off on your camera. Number 77. Where most likely is the speaker?
Number 78. According to the speaker, what is Dr. Simmons famous for? Number 79. What does the speaker request that listeners do? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Before this meeting concludes, I would like to mention a new opportunity available to all employees. As a benefit of our recent merger with TechSoft Solutions, you can now expand your medical insurance to include vision and dental coverage. You can visit our company website to calculate exactly how much this change would increase your monthly payment. If you have never accessed our website in the past, you will first need to contact Susie Summers in order to get your login information. Please make sure to keep your login information private. Number 80. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 81. According to the speaker, what can listeners do online? Number 82. Why should some listeners contact Susie Summers? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. Hi everyone, we should get started with the monthly meeting. First of all, we have two new interns starting this week. They are both accounting majors who specialize in auditing. I know that you are all very busy, but I really need you to help the interns settle in as quickly as possible. I'm going to give each of you a specific job that I want you to personally train the intern. I think it is the most efficient way to get them up to speed. I'm going to prepare a task for each of you and email it to you. When the interns arrive, I want each of you to spend one full week each with them and train them. Thanks for your patience. Number 83. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 84. What does the woman mean when she says, I know that you are all very busy. Number 85. What task does the speaker assign to the listeners? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. As everyone knows, the line of keyboards and web cameras we produce this year are selling extremely well. I'm not sure why, but our LCD monitors are not selling well at all. I suspect the price point might be too high when compared with other brands. Whatever the reason, we need to start selling more so I've hired some marketing analysts that can help us try to figure out what the problem is. I've arranged a meeting with them this afternoon after lunch, so please come to the boardroom on the second floor and sit in on the meeting. Number 86. What product does the speaker's company sell? Number 87. What problem does the speaker describe? Number 88. What does the woman mean when she says, Sit in on the meeting. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following speech. Great news, everybody. Our sales are up by 12% compared to last year. Our new range of electric blankets and space heaters sold more than we expected. The biggest seller was our new heated pillow inserts. Last month, we signed a special contract to have our pillows used exclusively in Charleston hotels, which means a huge boost in sales figures. We are expecting even more contracts like this in the future. How about that? Everyone should give themselves a pat on the back. I'm really proud of your efforts. Number 89. 
What product does the speaker's company sell? Number 90. According to the speaker, what happened last month? Number 91. What does the man mean when he says, How about that? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following introduction and chart. Springfield Dance Troupe has just added a new hip-hop workshop to our winter schedule. We are extremely excited to be able to offer more contemporary dance routines to the members of our community. We'll be having a live performance of some of the moves that we will be teaching people to master this Saturday at 12 p.m. We would like to invite all members of the community young and old, boys and girls, to come down to the recreational centre and enjoy the performance. Springfield Dance Troupe will of course be continuing to teach the courses that we have always offered, with one exception. Sally Jones, who many of you know from her fantastic Nutcracker performances, will be moving back to Westport. As a result, after this week we will not be offering ballet classes until we can find a teacher to replace her. I hope to see you all at the Recreation Center this Saturday at noon. Number 92. What is indicated about Springfield Dance Troupe? Number 93. Look at the graphic. What can you infer about the dance classes? Number 94. What does Springfield Dance Troupe invite the public to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following advertisement and list. Presidential Tailoring is committed to helping you look your best. If you have been thinking about updating your wardrobe to include custom fit ensembles, we would like to invite you to stop by our stop on the corner of Lexington and DuPont for complimentary measurement. Our tailors have a combined 120 years of experience with men's and women's tailoring. Our master tailor, Geoffrey Fry, apprenticed in London for 15 years at the prestigious Lord Home Tailors before returning home here to the U.S. Let us make you look presidential. You deserve it. Number 95. What is indicated in the advertisement? Number 96. Look at the graphic. What is true about the pricing? Number 97. What can you infer about presidential tailoring? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following phone message and invoice. Hello, Ms. Johnson. I'm calling about the invoice that you sent me last week. I just have a few questions I need to ask you about the quantities and pricing of some of the supplies that I ordered. I thought that you told me that if I ordered more than two dozen of any item that I would receive a discount of 5%. Is this correct? Additionally, I want to just confirm the numbers with you. I ordered 36 footstools, 12 chairs, 117 small end tables, and no large end tables. I believe there was some confusion. Can you change the invoice to reflect my requested items? Number 98. Look at the graphic. Which volume discounts are incorrect? Number 99. What is the listener asked to do with the invoice? Number 100. What does the speaker anticipate will happen next?